This deal is officially grounded for good. JetBlue and Spirit Airlines are scrapping the $3.8 billion merger after nearly two years. The breakdown comes weeks after a federal court blocked the deal, siding with the government in the antitrust case. The Justice Department had argued the deal would cut competition and eliminate Spirit as a budget-friendly option for travelers. Spirit CEO Ted Christie said, We are disappointed we cannot move forward with a deal that would save hundreds of millions for consumers and create a real challenger to the dominant big four U.S. airlines. However, we remain confident in our future as a successful independent airline. We wish the JetBlue team well. JetBlue CEO Joanna Garrity said, Given the hurdles to closing that remain, we decided together that both airlines' interests are better served by moving forward independently. Independently, both airlines face financial uncertainty. JetBlue closed out 2023 with a loss and expects declines to continue in early 2024. Spirit is facing even bigger problems, with some analysts floating bankruptcy, a notion the Spirit CEO has shot down as a misguided narrative. Spirit has $1.1 billion in debt due in 2025. Christie says the company will explore refinancing options and has always continued to consider the possibility of operating as a standalone airline through this two-year saga. JetBlue will pay Spirit $69 million to scrap the merger. While the agreement was active, JetBlue paid Spirit shareholders about $425 million in prepayments.